Welcome to Max class. In this class, I am going to explain about angles in the chapter geometry. Carom board involves many geometric concepts like line segments and angles. When the striker hits the coin, the coin moves in a straight line. When the striker or coins hit the board, then they make angles with the board while returning. When two rays or line segments meet at the at their end points, they form an angle at that point. In this figure, the rays AB and AC are the sides and A is the vertex which is the meeting point of both line segments. Naming angles. We name the angle as shown in the figure 1 and 2. Figure 1 shows the angle PQR. Here the ray QP and QR or its sides. P is on QP and R is on QR. In figure 2 shows the angle ABC B ray BA and BC or its sides. A is on the ray BA and C is on the ray BC. We name the angle Q in figure 1 as angle PQR or angle RQP. Similarly, in figure 2, angle B may write as angle A, B, C or angle C, B, A. In this figure, the, there are two angles of mark. Note that angle B, A, C is not same as angle A, B, C as they have different vertices and different sides. Measuring angles. Can we measure angles? Yes. Using protractor, they are measured in degrees which are denoted by the symbol degree. This has to be marked at the top right of a number. We write angles as 35 degree, 78 degree, 90 degree, 110 degree, 145 degree and so on. Special angles. Some angles are special. 90 degree is one which we call it as the right angle. So 90 degree is a right angle. In this figure, 90 degree or right angle are shown. Right angle is most common in life. The examples can be seen at cross, chessboard, TV and crossroads etc. Acute angles. In this figure, clock show each of the angle is less than a right angles. Angles smaller than 90 degree are called acute angles. Angles smaller than 90 degrees are called acute angles. For example, 
36 degree, 65 degree or acute angles. Abduced angles. In this, in this figure, the clocks show, the clocks show each of the angles is greater than right angle. Angles more than 90 degree is called obtuse angles. For example, 130 degree and 195 degrees are obtuse angles. Reflex angles. The reflex angles are bigger than 180 degree. Always subtract the given angle from 360 degree to get reflex angle. So reflex angle is greater than 180 and less than 360 degree. For example, 210 is the reflex angle. Very special angles. Zero angle. In this figure, a ray A, B is shown. Here, AC is exactly on AB. Then the angle is zero. It is called zero angle. Straight angle. In this figure, Line AB is shown if C is exactly on the opposite side of B with vertex C in the middle. Then the angle is 180 degree. It is called straight angle. Special pairs of angles. Complementary angle. Two angles are complementary to each other if they add up to 90 degree. That means 70 plus 20 equal to 90 degree. So 70 degree is complementary angle of 20 and 20 is complementary angle of 70. So Two angles 70 and 20 are complementary to each other. Supplementary angle. Two angles are supplementary to each other if they add up to 190 degree. That means the angles 147 plus 33 degree equal to 190 degree. So, the two angles 147 and 33 are supplementary to each other. That is 147 is the supplementary angle of 33 and 33 is the supplementary angle of 147 degree. Students, I hope you have understood the angles. Thank you.